वेलकम बैक फ्रेंड्स टुडे वीडियो इज गोइंग टू क्रिएट अ प्रोडक्ट सर्विस एफ्टर द लास्ट वीडियो सेशन वी हैव सीन अकाउंट सर्विस हाउ टू क्रिएट अकाउंट सर्विस हाउ टू कनेक्ट विद कॉन्फ्लिक सर्विस हाउ टू कनेक्ट विद सर्विस रजिस्ट्री एंड वी कॉन्फ्लिक एट द डेटाबेस द सेम थिंग वी विल गोइंग टू डू फॉर प्रोडक्ट सर्विस ओके प्रोडक्ट सर्विस इज सेपरेट माइक्रो सर्विस इट विल मैनेज प्रोडक्ट इन फॉर एग्जांपल आई विल गोइंग टू क्रिएट अ ओनली वन एंटिटी ऑब्जेक्ट कॉल्ड प्रोडक्ट इट हैज सम कॉलम यूजिंग प्रोडक्ट सर्विस वी कैन डू सम डीएमएल ऑपरेशन अगेंस्ट द प्रोडक्ट ऑब्जेक्ट ओके यूजिंग प्रोडक्ट सर्विस वी कैन डू सम डीएमएल ऑपरेशन फॉर अ प्रोडक्ट ओके लेट्स क्रिएट अ प्रोडक्ट सर्विस I open the Spring initializer. I already filled that data. Com. It garden. Uh, my service name is product service. And my project name is product service. Then package name. Then Java 11. Now we need to add the dependency. So we need to create a web service, right? So we need to add web. This for RESTful web services. Then we need to load the uh, configuration from config service. For that we need to add config client. Then we need to add a um we need to register this product service part of eureka naming service okay so we need to add eureka uh, discovery client discovery client apart from that what we need uh, let's check apart from that yeah we need to add this mysql dependency i copying from account service uh, we will we'll copy it later apart from this we need to add spring data yeah Spring Boot started data. JPA we need to add. Yeah, that's it. I want to store this in this location. Already we have created account service, config service, config service, and the service registry, right? Now we're going to create a product service. I'm going to store that zip file in this location. generate save it let's track this let's track that now we we'll, now we'll going to import the import the product uh, product service project in the intellij Project from existing source. Copy this location. Paste it here. Under 2.4.5, we have a product service, right? Select that folder. Open that folder. Click Palm Dot XML file. It is opening now. Okay. Now, apart from this dependency, we need to add some more dependencies. That is, one for a MySQL driver. One for MySQL driver, right? This is a MySQL driver. I am copying this. Then we need to add. One more dependency that related to our config service. To load the uh, to load the config service on the Bootstrap property file, we need to add this particular dependency. Now we need these two dependency to load the configuration from config service. This already I have defined while creating a product service. This need to copy now. Copy and paste it here. Okay. Now we have added uh, all dependencies. Now next step is what we have to do. We need to remove this property file. Then we need to add Bootstrap that property files. I am going to copy it from our account services. We we created already, right? Just copy that file and paste it here.
here we have to change to product service so we are loading product service uh, configuration from this configure okay then next step is what you have to do let me check uh, configuration of product service i am opening config repo this is our repo right product service dot yaml file here i want to save what is this product test iphone db i want to use product test iphone db okay here don't forgot to give a name proper name product service this this name should be unique whatever name you are you are using in your uh, product service class here this name under whatever name you are using in your configuration file both should be name okay because we are going to use this name uh, all the places hmm? okay product service this is a db configuration then this is not required this is just i'm giving uh, some uh, test properties leave it as it is let me open mysql workbench after changing your configuration don't forgot to commit okay that is very very important otherwise changes will not be reflected commit and push git push i pushed okay now i'm um, let me open um, database see there is a product test uh, test type and db there is already one table available here it's a product description product name price quantity total price okay let me create that uh, entity class the product service new package entity object new class product copy this here product okay then copy this this is a primary key private string product name what is the column i using here product product name product name product name product description then product description then price quantity total price right get a scatter setter get a method that's it okay then for this entity we need to create a one repository class for uh the crude operation okay so i am creating one package one more package repository new class product repository it's a interface repository spelling mistake repository is a spelling mistake it's a typo error repository 
Resistance JPA Repository Product Product comma Integer It's an integer, right? So I'm giving product comma integer. Okay, that's it. The first three uh, uh, class the implementation is completed. Now through this product product repository, we can perform crude operations, save, delete, view, one day view all, whatever. Okay, um, we can perform all crude operations through this repository. Now we need to create a service pa service class. Let me create a one more package service new class. product service this is service class okay private private product repository product repository we need to auto write that auto wire public void save product 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 repository dot save save of product okay this will return a product once uh, uh, product data stored in database this will return a product data with the primary key newly generated primary key so i am saying new product then i want to return this product to the controller class so I am returning it. New product. So this method should return a product. Okay. Then I want to create a view all. Public list product get product. The product repository having one method called find all method. This will return all the products, all available products. Then one more method view product by ID product get product by ID int product ID return product repository dot find by id product id dot else okay if the product id product is available for this id this will return a product otherwise written a null value okay that's it we have done three different uh, methods um, for a product now we'll do, now we'll go to create a controller class new class java class now we're going to get a new package new package is a controller new class product controller this is a rest, rest class, right? We have to define all the rest endpoint in this controller class. So I am annotating it a rest controller. Okay, rest controller. Then I am adding request mapping in class level. That should be start with API. All my endpoints should start with API. Okay. That is, this should be like this HTTP colon colon localhost. 9093 what is the port number i have given in the for product service in the configuration 9093 okay 9093 we have to 9093 slash api this is the accessing point for product service okay product service uh, endpoint now i'm going to create a post mapping post mapping public response entity 
of product save product my request body is a product is a product so product okay a user should send a request in the form of product object now i'll going to auto where my service class here private product service product service at auto wire now we need to call the save method from here product service dot save product this save method this save method return new product right after saving so we have to capture that product object new product object here product product new product then we need to return this product to the client side as a response for that new response entity product new product this new product i want to return then http status http status dot created okay return so this is post mapping for creating a product and updating a product I have implemented other two methods. Other two methods, which is a get mapping, one for fetching all the products, one for fetching all the products, another one for fetching product by ID. Okay. Now this uh, get mapping, this post mapping, using the same endpoints. If you use a, a post method, post method, this method get invoked from the client side. Client using a post method and uses this particular endpoint. This method get called and save the product. If client using, uh, if client uses a get method and using the same uh, same endpoint, this method get called and return all the products. Okay. This get mapping for viewing fetching particular product ID from the product. Okay, we have to pass. We have to pass uh, ID in the part of the URL. It's a path variable. This part, this particular variable mapped through, mapped in this parameter in this parameter method parameter method through this annotation. This annotation responsibility is path variable annotation responsibility is it will map the this variable to in our path variable parameter. Okay, this will return a particular product. So we have implemented three different endpoints. Three different endpoints: one for saving and updating, another for uh, fetching all the product, another one, another one for fetching a particular product. Let's we're going to test this. Okay. Now we're going to now we're going to test these methods. Before that, I want to remove this product table. I want to create it from first. From the scratch, I want to create. Close it. Now, product iPhone test debate does not have uh, any tables. In your configuration, we have configured product iPhone test iPhone DB. In this configuration, I am saying DD DD iPhone auto update, so it will create automatically if the product is not available product table is not available okay since i'm creating a product entity object this product entity object mapped with the product table if the product table not available in the database it will create by jpa okay we're going to uh, i'll going to start the server now let me rename it This will not work now because uh, I am starting this product service without starting config, serv config service and then uh, Eurocanaming service. 
uh, to start the uh, to work with this product service in the config service very very important because config service only having all the configuration right so product service cannot load the configuration okay because of uh, product service is not running it give the error now so it give the error let's start the config service now i'm opening a config service run application meanwhile i'll start the so i'll open the registry service service registry that is heroku naming server Config service need a Eureka naming server because we are registering config service instead of Eureka naming server. So we need to start the config service, uh, Eureka naming service also. Okay. Now uh, when I start first time config service, it will return a error because of Eureka naming service not available. Okay. But we don't have to care about that error. That error will uh, it won't block us. Okay. It will able to load the configuration still even if you give the error because of your naming server config service able to start the all the properties okay all the configuration starting yeah it's config service started but it will give some error for your naming server now because Hiroka naming server is not available, it's give the error. Let me clean this, uh, then I will start the config uh, service registry, that is Hiroka naming server. Hiroka naming server fetching the configuration of config server. running under port number 8761 it is start looking any other service running or not to register as of now config service running it will register now Yeah, it's registered. I think it is registered. Yeah, it's registered. We had a, uh, we are having a logs now. Config service log. Okay, now local host. This is your name server URL dashboard URL. See config service is registered. Okay. Inside your economic server now config service your economic service running perfectly now we're going to start the product service still i'm getting error not able to load the not able to start the server because of some problem no screen config import what it means I think our product service eleven. Bootstrap properties. Localhost. Let's load the Maven file. Might be a problem. So 
Okay, let's start the server now again. Yeah, starting the service now. Refreshing from config service. Our expectation is you should create a table, right? product table it's connecting mysql preparing the data source for mysql see the table is created we are getting create table query for product the next my expectation is they should register inside a Eureka client See, product service is also registered. The first time when I start the server, it's giving the error, right? It was giving the error. The reason is after importing this project, I added a two more uh, artifacts. One is MySQL driver artifact, another one is uh, um, this uh, bootstrap. This is a bootstrap uh, artifact. I just added that uh, when I start the server, this uh, library is not synced with in my local uh, my local system. Uh, so I what I did, um, Maven reload project when i say reload project whatever artifact not synced with my local system it's uh, it's built and is synced okay now it's working that is the reason whenever um, any weird error coming like this just to go on the do this maven reload uh, reload project that's it now uh, what whatever expectation in this project we are we should connect with the product db we are able to connect then the property should load from the config service that also happening that also happening uh, then this product service registered in inside a eureka naming server the so three three tasks happened perfectly okay let's re refresh this so config service product service registered inside a eureka naming server okay now we'll check that our endpoint we have implemented some endpoint right uh, this is for creating a new product before that we'll check the database you should create a new table called product as of now no data let me open postman Okay, meanwhile, we'll do one thing. Go to product, just to copy this attribute. Copy this attribute, create a uh, JSON, uh, JSON request, okay. Product name. Product name is a ice cream. Then product description. This test product. 
then price hundred rupees. Okay, we don't have to add a quantity in total price. Okay, a yeah, quantity we have to add. Quantity we have to add. Qty. Qty equal to two. Okay. So uh, total price we have to calculate. Okay, in the back end side, we don't have to add that. This is a request. Let me open the postman. In the body, this is a post method, right? So post method. Just replacing with this request. What is the end point? End point is this is the end point. Okay, just copy this end point, paste it in your postman. Now I want to send a request. Let's see it's creating or not. What happened? Oh, this, what is the port number for product service? It's a 9093, right? 9093, yeah, it's a 9093. Um, local host, local host spelling mistake. Typo error. Again, I'm sending. So I got the response, proper response. See, ID, ID generated. Product name ice cream. This is a test product. Price 100. Quantity 0. Quantity 0. And uh, total price 0. Both are coming 0, 0. Let's check why it's coming 0, 0. Why? Because in the product, in the product control, I have a quantity. It's a field, right? The same quantity field we need to use in our JSON response. So, JSON request. I am saying QTY. That is a wrong. Whatever you are. Uh, product uh, java class is having the field that field we need to use okay that field only we do then, then only it will map properly here we i i here i used qty but here field is a quantity that is the reason it is it, it's not populating when i check the database id is there price is there description is there product name also there product name also there quantity is zero because i have sent a wrong field i have sent a wrong attribute here Qty I I I was I uh, Qty I'm, I was sending that is a wrong I was sending Qty right that is not a correct field the correct field is a quantity okay now this time this will work okay this time I'm saying price is a two hundred chocolate this is a this product to I am sending now I am sending now see this time I got the quantity properly to price is 200 product name and the product description still total price is zero zero the reason is we are not inputting the total uh, total price right we have to calculate in the backend system we have to add the piece of code huh? Let's check the database now. See 200, this is uh, test chocolate, chocolate, then quantity to total price. Now we're going to add the logic. We have to add the logic in the service class. Product that get quantity, then double total price equal to quantity into product price. This will give you the total price, right? Now we can set it to product object, set total price. That's it. Let me restart the application.
application started now application started now i'm going to postman i'm going to create another product short name is 400 3 this time our expectation is total price should come see total price we got the total price now let's check the database okay see it stored up properly what is the next end point next end point is view all the product view particular product okay we have a three product right one two three uh, let's check the view all the product the same end point we have to just select the get mapping get method let's send it see it's giving all the product data three product data in the database we have three product it's written, written all now i want to view particular product that is i want to view second product See, I got that second product alone. So all the endpoints end are working as expected. So we have completed this part. Account service, product service. We are able to connect the database. Also, account service, product service registered in Eureka naming server. Product service able to load the configuration from config server. Okay. In the pom product XML file. I added the Uh, two dependency this is for loading the configuration config file then this is for registering our product service eureka naming server this boost up for loading the con loading the property from config service we are saying that which what is the config service you are okay that's it okay in the next video we'll going to create a reporting service reporting service is a very simple service uh, we are not uh, using any database responsibility of this service is this service should talk to a product service this service should talk to accounting service to generate the report that example we'll going to see the next video in spring cloud component provide one cloud for the spring cloud component provide one component call fain client it's a fain special component using that fain component we can talk one service to another service that example we'll going to see as part of reporting service implementation okay until then bye bye from fresh still not subscribe this channel please subscribe it share this video to your friend circle click bell icon for regular updates Thanks for watching this full video